another one. What's going on guys? William here and welcome back to another one up farm. Um, now, I, I need to start this video with a confession. Uh, at the end of the previous episode, uh, I failed to save the game. Uh, the game didn't save uh, after I'd finished recording and I lost that day's progress. So I still had the recording of it, uh, which has been uploaded uh, and hopefully you guys will have seen. But I have none of, I had none of the progress. I had none of the, uh, anything we'd done was undone. So I, what I've done is I have tried to replicate that day as closely as possible. I, uh, I cleared out the land we cleared out. I fished in the spot that we fished in and uh, I tried to keep the day very similar. Uh, so anything that we did, I did, I did continue to do. So we ha you haven't missed anything. I haven't done anything new. Uh, so I have, I am now on on the correct day that we should be on. Uh, there, there may be some minor differences though. Um, the exact thing that uh, the exact things I've cleared out on the farm may be slightly different if you're eagle-eyed. Um, but it's, I didn't go, I didn't do any more. Uh, it may just be a, a slightly different things. And also, I have, I think I have slightly more money by a few gold because I. I did fish in the same area, but you can't. You don't have the control over what fish you catch. Um, I can't control that. So I uh, caught a couple of different fish, and I think uh, I've made a little bit more money. It's nothing crazy. It's not too much. So, um, so hopefully you can forgive me for that. So what I've done is uh, I have, I have, I've, 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 I went through that day, and we're now on the correct day that we should be on, uh, which is Thursday the fourth. Um, as my punishment, however, the uh, the weather gods we were so happy to praise in the last episode have taken away my second rainy day. Uh, so we did have two rainy days in a row. We we don't anymore. Uh, it's it's not a rainy day. Uh, so that's that's just punishment for me uh, for not saving the game. It was a rookie error. Um, one that I won't be repeating. Uh, yeah. So so we're gonna check the weather report for tomorrow. Hopefully they give it. They give us our rain back tomorrow. Um, it just means we've got a little bit more work to do today, but that's fine. That's 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 what I expect when I make mistakes. So we're going to check the weather report now uh, and see what that brings us. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny all day. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. Uh, we're, we're gonna have to take that one on the chin. Now what I am gonna do is check the fortune teller because I still have the two geodes. Uh, I was lucky enough to find exactly two geodes like we did in that in that episode. Uh, so I'm gonna check the fortune teller and see if it's worth getting those cracked open today. Ah, I sense a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, they have every right to be annoyed at me. I, They may feel that I saved scum, uh, and I didn't because uh, I am worse off for it. Uh, so we head out, and the first thing we'll notice again is that we have some more mail. Uh, advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Uh, it's a good advert. So we, we will need that eventually. Uh, Pierre, Pierre has a good point. We, we will need that size 24 backpack at some point uh, because we just don't have a lot of space at the moment. Uh, but it is pretty expensive and we have got our sights set on other things at the moment. So we're going to get along and do what we what we weren't going to have to do uh, originally and we're going to water our crops. Uh, then we are going to then we're going to head on into town. Uh, try and I've got we've got a quest to to meet everyone in town. Today I want to try and meet as many people that we haven't met already. Uh, so we'll go through we'll 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 cycle through the people uh, and we'll see who we haven't met and, and and see if we can get that done today just to uh just to crack on with some of the some of the the quests in the game, uh, and we're also gonna we're also gonna be planting some more crops. So, so we're gonna we're gonna refill our watering can here. We're gonna head on into town, um, have a look at the request board, have a look at who we haven't spoken to, try and find them, grab some more seeds, come back, um, plant those, and then plot our next move.
Uh, first things first, as we wander through here, let's check if there's anything worth grabbing. Uh, there isn't. Um, I'm not going to lie, when I saw that I hadn't saved the game, I, I did want to just hop back on that bus and go back to my job at Jojo. Uh, I felt like I was not cut out for this, this farming life. Uh, there's Shane. Uh, let's, I mean, he's going to be rude, but let's speak to him anyway. What do you want? Leave me alone. Fine. Not a problem, mate. You... Uh, just leave me... You, you leave me alone. You leave me alone, Shane. Uh, trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll pay 90 gold for any fisherman who catches three anchovy. Good luck, Willie. Um, as usual, we're going to accept it. The likelihood that we'll complete this quest is very small. But uh, we're going to accept it anyway, because we, if we get a chance to do some fishing, who knows what could happen. Next step. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at who we have and haven't spoken to. Uh, so we, the people that are uh, faded out, I believe, are the people. Oh, okay. So they're not faded out. They have question marks next to their names. Uh, so we're on the lookout for these guys. Uh, well, I, we're going to know where Gus is. We we need to find these people. Uh, so let's let's have a look around. Interesting character. Let's have a look around and see if we can bump into anybody. Uh, we'll head on down to the beach as well at some point and see if there's any anything on the beachfront for us. Uh, maybe do a little a spot of fishing there. Uh, You're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. If you say so. Uh, nope. Nobody to talk to in here. Uh, let's try the blue house. Okay, so we have one of the people we haven't spoken to, and that is uh, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Uh, thanks. So you're a farmer, huh? Interesting. Yeah, uh, it's, it's been pretty interesting. Oh, uh, that looks like somebody we need to talk to as well. But he is, uh, oh, his name is Sam. And he's still in bed at 9.30. What? He's lucky. He's lucky. Uh, we'll try and catch up with him at another uh, another time when it's more convenient for him. You know, he looks like the angsty teenager type. I don't want to don't want to drag him out of bed, especially when I've never met him. That'd be pretty awkward. Um, so, who, who else do we have to speak to? We had hello, Gunther. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artefacts for display. Wow. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artefacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Uh, I certainly will. Uh, that will be the first thing I do. Uh, unless I can find something better to do with them. But yeah, no, so we, we will be focusing on restoring the museum. Uh, it's definitely one of the more fun... The more fun quests uh, in the game. It, it's pretty random, but uh, it, it's always it's always a good feeling to, uh, to to find something that we can give to Gunther, and and it comes with its own unique set of rewards too. So it's in our interest to do that. Uh, as we wander on up towards that locked building that we found the other day, uh, we've got a war reward fountain here, and up here I believe is the playground. Nobody's here though. Um, oh, let's clear this out. Uh, clearing this out will just give us more chance of some forage growing in here, uh, which is ideal. Better than weeds. Better than weeds. Hmm. So we haven't had much luck finding people to talk to. Um, there are a couple of houses in town that we haven't been in though, so actually let's go and check on those. To find that rather grumpy looking gentleman, but I believe he's uh, he's in it. The air's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. Uh, awesome. Good. And we have. Blah! I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. That's uh. You know, you can't take your hangout on everybody else, Pam. Did I just call a hangover a hangout? I did. Called it a hangout. 
I called it a hangout. That's fine. That's what it's called now. Hangout. Uh, oh, we've got a, a elderly wheelchair-bound gentleman to speak to. <laughs> it's irritating to meet all these new people, huh? Mm, not really. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Huh. Wow. I I didn't think we'd meet anybody more rude than Shane, and we have trumped it. And it is that silly old man, uh, George. I uh, think we'll be avoiding him like like the plague. Uh, hello. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Uh, I mean, you don't have to be sad about it. Reading's a reading's a good thing, unless you mean that your life is such a tragedy. In which case, uh, you live in a lovely town with lo lovely people, and that lovely new farmer's just moved in. You you have a lot to be happy about. Right, so, uh, I feel like we've met a couple of people. We are still missing one or two, but we'll, we'll just pick them up as we play, as we naturally progress through the game. I feel like that's the more natural way to do things, because it is 120 now. Um, let's head on into the forest briefly, see if there's anything we can pick up for sale, and then we're going to head to Pierre's to, to purchase some seeds. We need to do that before close. Uh, hey, how's the weather? Hello. So here we can we can purchase animals and supplies. The supplies are geared towards the animals. Uh, looks like barn animal supplies. And okay, so yeah, here's where we can buy animals. Animals we can't buy any at the moment because we have nowhere to store them, and that would be uh, careless and irresponsible. Two things I most certainly am, but this lady seems to not be because she won't let me have animals yet. Ah, oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Um, I mean, I'm here now. I'm, I'm going to leave because. Mm, okay, I'll I'll swing by sometime to the ranch. I've definitely never been in when I first spoke to you. I feel like, oh, I don't, okay. Uh, hello. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it, jazz. Uh, and again, you know, you should, it's five. The next number is five. Uh, so that counts as meeting. She didn't introduce herself properly because she was too busy failing to count to five. Uh, I shouldn't be so mean. She looked like a small child. Uh, however, I feel like if you are allowed to wander around in the woods by yourself skipping, hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, Leah. Uh, it, then you probably should know how to count to five, to be honest. Not that being able to count to five provides you with any forest safety uh, knowledge, you know, but general knowledge would be ideal, wouldn't it? Right, um, so off to Pierre's. We're going to get some seeds and stop insulting children for their lack of numeracy skill. Uh, what what seeds do we not have? Uh, I think we should plant some flowers, get some flowers growing. Those are generally quite quick, uh, quick to grow and, 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 and good for sale. And they're good for gifting as well. Because we are going to have to start gifting to the people of Pelican Town because they are materialistic maniacs. Hello, William. Hello, Elliot. Okay, so we're going to want. Uh, let's get. Oh, let's grow some kale. How about we grow some kale? Let's get. Hmm, they take six days to mature. Let's get five kale. And plant that. And then we should get. Let's get, let's get five jazz seeds as well. Uh, and then we'll keep the remaining cash we have on us. Because I feel like we haven't made any yet today. In fact, we haven't, we haven't shipped a single thing. So, let's plant these and then head on down to do some fishing. Uh, I'm, 
I don't know whether we should fish on the ocean. We'll fish on the ocean today because we haven't been down to the beach to check if there is anything worth grabbing while we're down there. So uh, we're, we're going to do some beach fishing today. Um, I, I played Journey of the Prairie King in the previous episode. A, a small part of me wants to play it again, but I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that two episodes in a row. Um, I'm going to save that for another episode. So... Uh, if you would like me to, to play Jerry, Journey of the Prairie King more often, just leave a comment uh, down below and let me know. Uh, or if I was so bad at it, you never want to see me play it again. Um, that, that, you can leave that in the comments below too. Uh, also, I have a question. Um, I, so I live, in, I live in London and I live in, 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 in very inner city London. Uh, I, I don't see a lot of wildlife. I don't see a lot of the countryside. Uh, I have a couple of friends who, who, who live in what I would deem the countryside. And I see one of them pretty regularly, um, uh, which is, which is always good. Um, and through her, I have seen multiple animals that I've, uh, uh, it's weird to, it's weird to say, but when you live in the, in the city, like I do, pheasants are not not a daily occurrence so you know they exist uh you know they exist you know they're real uh they're not monsters they're not monsters or figments of the imagination but you never see them uh so you you, you just don't think about them you know uh but through visiting her i i've seen so many pheasants and they're really strange they're really strange animals they 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 almost don't look real and i feel like that's just because i'm a city kid uh and and i've seen i've seen deer while i've been there and plenty of dogs because that's that's her that's what she does um so she does not that she does dogs she she walks dogs she just walks dogs that's what she does um yeah this is going in a weird direction so my question is what is what what's the what's the wildest animal you've you've actually seen in the wild so no no zoo animals they don't count uh but i did see a baby deer uh and 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 i was amazed uh which is, again if you if you live anywhere near the countryside that's probably not all that impressive to you but it was to me and uh i she laughed at me she definitely laughed at me for finding such amazement in seeing pheasants and, and a baby deer, but it's just not a daily occurrence for me. Um, and and that's, what I'm, that's, what I, that's what I most like about countryside life because I am such an animal person. I, I really am uh, all animals apart from wasps, uh, but I feel like they don't count. I feel like they don't count. Spiders and wasps don't count. Uh, absolutely terrified of those. Uh, but yeah, so the question is, what's the wildest animal you've seen uh, in real life, not in a reserve, not in a zoo? Um, and leave that in the comments below, because I feel like some people may have seen better animals in the wild than I have. Uh, deer and pheasant aren't all that impressive, apparently. Not impressive, so impre so unimpressive that you can laugh at me about it. Uh, yeah, so that that's something that's something to, to think about and uh, post a comment. Let me know which, uh, what, what the wildest animal you have ever seen is. Um, so we're doing some fishing now. We're doing some fishing uh, in the ocean. There'll be a fair few different fish there than, than the, the mountain lake we previously fished at, which is good. Uh, we caught a 24 inch halibut. That is a very, very big fish. That is a huge fish. Um, and it's a silver star one too. So hopefully we'll get a fair bit of money for that. Uh, we can see Willie over there fishing. We're gonna we'll be an antisocial. We're not gonna fish near him. Uh, can't say I'm a I'm not I'm not a massive fan. I'm not a massive fan of Willie. I don't know why. In fact, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave here, and I'm gonna go and spend the lot. I'm gonna use those last two inventory slots to fish in in the woods, uh, in the in the little stream in the woods, uh, just for a bit of variation. Um, so. I know I previously discussed uh, keeping these at one day per episode, but I, I think I'm going to move it up to two days per episode just because um, it's easier work to do to do two in a row and and it's a more manageable upload. Um, so I think I'm going to do that if it doesn't get very good 
feedback, then we'll switch back to the one day per episode structure. So this is going to be the last episode I do where we just play one day. Um, and from then on, it will be two days per episode. And we'll see how that gets on, because it's still, it's still all learning for me at the moment and trying to find out what people best engage with. So there'll be slightly, there'll be, well, there'll be longer episodes, almost, almost twice the length. Um, but I, I, I just feel like that might work better. You'll see more progress in one episode than you would if, if I continue to just do the one day. Um, I'm going to be starting a couple of new, uh, new games too. And I've got a few ideas for other content that will be uh, coming shortly. Uh, one of the games I'm going to play is something I, I've been excited to play for a little while. Um, it's, it was pretty popular. Uh, I think it might still be pretty popular. But it's, um, uh, that's going to be coming soon. I'm not going to say what it is just yet. But um, that's going to be that's going to be something I start soon. Uh, the Surge playthrough uh, is a good game. Uh, I'm not very good at it. That's the problem. And I, I'm tossing up whether I continue with it just because I don't want to, to uh, just just do episodes of me dying uh, to the same boss over and over and over again. It won't be very entertaining. I mean, maybe it would be entertaining to see me dying a couple of times, but the lack of skill that I'm displaying at the moment is just not. I, I, I don't think it's very entertaining. So I'm considering dropping the surge, at least for now, until I might I may play through it myself, uh, get comfortable with it, because it is a really different way to play uh, when you're Let's Playing, um, and then maybe revisit it. Uh, but for now, uh, that's not going to be high on my priority. I've got a couple of other games, and I've got a couple of uh, collaboration games coming up. Um... Uh, with a with a good friend uh, and and another YouTuber, so that's going to be uh, that's on its way. Um, but yeah, th there's going to be a couple of other games that I that I decide to play. Another game I wanted to play is Firewatch. Uh, I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. I really like Firewatch. Uh, there's not much uh, actual game to it. Uh, it's definitely like an interactive story uh, that you play through yourself but i really enjoyed it and i think it's really again very similar to stardew uh very relaxing very chilled and i think that might 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 suit the channel it might it definitely suits my my style of doing things so uh i've been blabbing on not about stardew stuff uh i went off track there which is which is what i wanted to do at the end of the video anyway uh but before we call it an episode we'll run through the money we've made today uh we made 295 gold uh, the fish were the were the prime contributor to that. Uh, Two hundred and thirty gold for those. Fifty gold for the clam, and fifteen gold for the green algae. Which, in hindsight, we probably should have kept. Uh, but there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, so we've we've made a little bit of profit. Uh, we're going to call it a day there. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment in the bottom, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, guys.